How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can basically use ExpressVPN. It's one of the easiest VPNs to use, yet one of the most premium VPNs that you can use. And of course, it's deliberately made in the way that you see right now. Of course, before I begin, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about ExpressVPN, you'll find the full review down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts if you want to jump straight to that. Okay, so with ExpressVPN, you have a smart location, which will just connect you to what ExpressVPN thinks is the best choice for you. And you can just click that and it will connect you. Now, if you don't want to connect to the smart location, you can click the three dots right here and it will take you straight to locations. You have your recommended locations and you have all locations which are categorized by continents. And you have, of course, over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is plenty. Now, let's say you want to connect to an American server. You go to the United States and what you can do is either click the United States and it will usually connect you to the nearest server in the United States. And what you can also do is view all the locations and select one yourself. Let's just go for the Washington, for example. What we can do is click each of these uh, locations to select them and then turn on the VPN or simply double click on the server and it will connect you automatically. Of course, ExpressVPN is literally using the same user interface for almost every single device. So whether you're on iOS, Android, Mac OS, your Windows, Windows, as I am right now, I'm on Windows 10 or even your smart TV, it's going to look the same. So let's go ahead and just disconnect. Again, you have your VPN locations. You can also access them from the options right here instead of the three dots right here. And you have a speed tester, which will save you the time of having to manually speed test everything. And you can, for example, speed test everything in America, speed test everything in Europe or just the recommended locations. And it will give you good representation of the download speed latency and speed index. So let's go to the options right here. And over here, there's really nothing to mess with besides the protocols and general. So you have the startup options, which are up to preference at the end of the day. With network lock, this is pretty much the kill switch, which will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And this will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, it will disconnect your internet connection. And the other feature you have is split telling, which allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So, for example, you can only have your torrenting client use the VPN while the rest of your network is left outside the VPN tunnel or vice versa. It's a pretty useful feature. And here with protocols, you do have a bunch of protocols. I just recommend using the lightweight UDP protocol if you want the fastest connection, especially if you're streaming. But of course, you have automatic, which will adapt to your connection or server you connected to. You have some shortcuts to set up. And again, uh, these shortcuts did show up right here. Let's just go ahead and connect. And you can set up shortcuts to streaming services, Google Chrome, whatever it is that you want to have a shortcut to and let's go back to these settings and you have your chrome and firefox extensions if you'd like to get those and in advance you don't want to mess with anything here unless you just want to opt out of sharing crash reports which do not contain personally identifiable information anyway so it's up to you at the end of the day and that's pretty much it when it comes to express vpn you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription and as you can tell it's one of the easiest and most straightforward plug and play type of VPN. There's nothing complicated about it. You want to connect to Europe. Very simple. Go to Europe pick something and you're good to go. It's as simple as it gets. And now you have access to all types of streaming services. You can torrent to your heart's content without any bandwidth limitations or bandwidth throttling, and you can bypass any kind of censorship firewall, even the great firewall of China. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about ExpressVPN's privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full review down below. And of course, you'll find a link to a special discount. that will give you a few extra months if you're interested in that. And let's say you're not satisfied with ExpressVPN for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund because they do cover all the plans by a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's nice to be able to know that you can try ExpressVPN for 30 days risk free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.